taxes. It is what it is at this point, and that's the attitude that you have um, the last two weeks of September. Behind that, we got the Page of Swords, though. So it's like, again, this is you letting go, not really caring, and behind you, you got the Page of Swords. Somebody watching you still keeping tabs. <laughs> Welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully, you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe and the energy, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so mid-September reading, last two weeks, next two weeks. This is for you. It's a very general message. So please keep that in mind that it might not entirely resonate with you. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. I am available for private reading experiences. So if you are interested, you can check out the description box below in regards to how to book your session with me. Um, this is the second time I'm trying to do your reading, Leo. So I feel like the next two weeks, there could be some sort of distractions. The first time, there was the energy of you holding back. So four of pentacles, show face, four of swords also show face so holding back your time your energy your money your resources i feel like some of you guys could be dealing with like a friend a family member or just maybe a past lover someone who is very codependent on you and could be pulling all your energy um possibly your finances wanting to borrow money or pressuring you for money or something of the sorts also something about someone living with you or someone trying to move in with you or something like that for some of you guys um but the first song i got was you guided by Vito for you guys which was just pretty much telling me that you are in the space of um separation you could have somebody around you that's very inspirational trying to motivate you to kind of get out of some sort of funk or get yourself back or feel like yourself there's something that you're struggling with okay something that you feel is unfair or unjust that popped up in the first reading and you could have someone trying to again motivate you to kind of get back to yourself or feel better about whatever's going on in your environment um for some of you it could be like a recent breakup or just a separation of some sort um from friends family member whomever now the second time around the song that i got for you is um bs by janae Iko. so um yeah distractions bs it kind of feels like something or someone is getting underneath your skin but i also get an energy of you guys like for a while you've been trying to play nice or you've been trying to be quiet or not really react in a certain type of way you've been trying to be the bigger person in the situation um so someone could be triggering you or you might really have to take some sort of stance or do something that is for the most part out of your nature but you will do it if you have to do it so however that resonates with you take it if it doesn't let it fly but as far as the cards we have out for you right now we have enough fit enough said excuse me enough said um yeah enough fit it's just something about somebody wanting you to continue to help help more or financially fun something or something but enough said it feels like you have nothing else to say you're done in the situation we also have too little too late popping up here for you um we have friend circle popped out for you and we have personal issues so there's a lot going on um but you could be depending upon your friend circle or maybe your friends are just trying to make you feel a lot better in regards to what's going on um or this is like a needy friend a needy codependent friend or somebody in your energy um, that wants you to continue to pull and just, I don't know, it's almost like someone has mommy or daddy issues. Like they depend on you as if you're their provider or something like that, but you're not. We also have two plus two equals five at the bottom of the deck. So something is not adding up to you. Right behind that, we got shocking news and we have new car, home, um, or job. So things are looking up for you in some sort of way here. It could be any of these things or just a new anything coming in for you. And then we have detached. Okay. So um, it also feels as if a lot of you guys have been experiencing a lot of good things, a lot of good fortune. Um, the Will of Fortune did come out in that first spread since you have detached or separated from someone or something. So let's see, Leo. We got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck talking about manifestation, taking action. We also have the Devil card right behind that. So yeah, 
it's like you are moving forward you're manifesting things are going great in your life you have the power but you also have the devil energy following right up behind you um i'm hearing with every new level there's a new devil okay or every move you make there's just some sort of energy here that's like steady on you all right, we got the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles. So this could have been someone that you left. Um, you isolated from someone that you were very giving to, right? Seven of cups, page, uh, seven of cups and seven of pentacles, excuse me. This number seven could be significant. You got the star card 17 right here as well. Um, hmm. Let's see what comes out. Let's get a couple more shuffles and see what comes out for you. But it just feels like somebody is on your ass. Like you're trying to um you're trying to be the bigger person. You're trying to just not really react or focus on your life, your goals. You know, whatever you have going on here. Love did pop up in that first spread. So I feel like if you're single, you're happy. If you're dating, you're happy. If you're committed, you're happy. Whatever your situation is, you're happy with it. Um but it just seems like someone else is is unhappy because you're so happy is really what I'm picking up on. So let's see, Leo. Yeah. So we got eight of wands here and we have the nine of cups. So this is wish fulfillment. I feel like it's going to keep getting better, though. Like more wish fulfillment, more good news is coming your way. Um, so I don't really feel like you guys have anything to worry about as far as that. But there is something that was showing up that was bothering you. And it could be the, a certain person or just something's going on. So we'll see what comes out in the spread for you, Leos, for the end of September. Five of Cups. All right. What did I just say? Completely detached and separated from something. Five of Cups energy. Um, you might have had some regrets about something. You might have been really caught up in regards to thinking about something, overthinking about something or someone, but five of cups is, it is what it is at this point. And that's the attitude that you have um, the last two weeks of September. Behind that, we got the page of swords though. So it's like, again, this is you letting go, not really caring. And behind you, you got the page of swords. Somebody watching you still keeping tabs. Just like with that ace of wands and the devil, like you're taking action, you're doing what you need to do in regards to your life. But there's some sort of somebody who's codependent on you or someone who just doesn't want to stop fucking with you. Honestly, that's what it feels like. Um, so we got, yeah, the five of cups, the page of swords, and then we got the three of pentacles here. Somebody could be watching you at work or watching your work or your pockets or your money or something like that as well. Or somebody is just wanting to like, I want to say collaborate with you, but just like the energy I kind of get in the first spread, they're doing it all wrong or they go about it all wrong. I was picking up on the energy of somebody who kind of like portrays themselves to be balanced and want peace and want to just kind of do things the right way and talk things out. But in reality, they go about it all wrong because the Knight of Swords is what showed up in that first spread, just very impulsive and hasty. Um... And just off with the way that they communicate, but they expect you to continue to work with them, whether it's financially, whatever it is, um, it could be co-parenting, um, whatever type of relationship this is, they expect you to continue to keep trying or work with them. But this feels like a person that you just can't work with. They don't get it. And we got the chariot card and we got the tower card. Like, yeah, they, all they do is bring drama into your life. But they dress it up. They put a nice little pretty bow on it. Or they might tell other people that, you know, a completely different story than what is actually true or what actually happens. They might make you out to be the bad guy a lot of times too, especially if you have detached and let this person go. All right. So let's see. We got the five. Of, ooh, yeah, we got the five of pentacles and the five of swords. Okay. So fives are about change, but it's about conflict here. Um, something about a home here. Somebody could be struggling financially or like something about a house or paying rent or not being able to pay rent. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's this other energy or just someone you know in your environment. Um, and they're very, because of that, they're very like hateful and resentful towards you. Like they want you to be in the same bucket that they put themselves in. And we got the queen of wands. Okay. So I feel like you guys are fighting back. This Queen of Wands could be you, Leo. Okay, but let's see. We got the Nine of Cups coming back out here again. We got the Knight of Wands. Okay, so your energy is very much so escaping this situation here. 
Um, somebody could want to reconcile with you. All right. For some of you guys, it's another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or there's just another fire sign showing up here um, with the Three of Cups, which is about, you know, happy energy celebration. So there could be just something revolving around another fire sign or maybe you're celebrating something the, the next two weeks of September. Um, there's some sort of wish fulfillment coming. It's like you're getting what you want or you, you're getting what you deserve in a situation. So I see a celebration. Something's working out in your favor, despite whoever this is that's trying to put a damper on your energy. We got the four of cups with the nine of cups and a page of cups. I really feel like you guys have been so patient in regards to something, something that you really want here. And for a lot of you, it feels like it's revolved around a home situation with this five of pentacles. Um, it just feels like something has not been right or ideal in a home situation. Um, but with the four of cups, you've been very patient. You've been meditating on it. You've been praying about it. And I feel like it's coming through. And we got the lover's card, okay? So this came out in the first spread. For some of you, this is a relationship you've been praying on or wanting to come into your life or wanting to be healed, whatever the situation is for you. Um, let's see what the last card is. Ooh, and then we got the 10 of cups, yeah. So it's kind of like, if you're feeling lack or like something's off or just financial issues or just whatever this in the rut feeling is, whoever's getting to you, whatever's getting to you, whatever's worrying you, by the end of September, you're ending it with the Ten of Cups. So this is also a family dynamic, um, but this is a happy family dynamic. This is uh, emotional stability. This is emotional fulfillment here. And with the Three of Cups, this is all about celebration, um, partying, reconciliation, it's all good vibes on this end. And this is exactly how it was with the first spread, just different cards, slightly different energy. Um, I see you taking your power back in a situation or at least feeling more so in your power um, towards the end of the next two weeks. But right now, again, you could be feeling a little hopeless or a little bothered or a little agitated there's somebody is trying to get underneath your skin i feel like for some of you this is a past lover or ex-lover um that was just very combative it just really didn't work out and you made the decision to leave with this knight of wands energy and go towards something that was more emotionally fulfilling towards you you made the choice with the lover's card here um and you don't have any regrets about it it's kind of just like you're done but somebody, um, it is like like a bitter energy showing up here. So let me see. And we got the Justice card at the bottom of this deck. And it, the Justice card popped out in that first reading. Um, and it was something about you feeling as if something wasn't just or something wasn't fair for you. You could be dealing with the Libra as well. Five of Swords. You could be dealing with some sort of legalities or something like that. It's either a Libra or it's somebody that's very like malicious or like... Um, dark spirited is what i'm getting this could be somebody who kind of dibs and dabs in like magic or if you know dark magic or if it's not that extreme this is someone who's just spirit is just very malicious and evil and intent um but i feel like justice is yours here and i do feel like this person has been getting to you with the five of swords energy you got the five of swords twice showing up here now queen of cups and the eight of cups this is somebody that you've released and walked away from Let's see what this Five of Swords is for my Leo spirit. <laughs> you got the Knight of Wands twice now. Yeah, you left this. I just said you dipped out on whatever this energy is. Or in the next two weeks, if somebody's trying to like argue with you, pick a fight with you, like you just smoothly exit out of it. Like, do you, it's something about you dismissing this energy here. And the Knight of Wands popped up again. What else is this Five of Swords? It could be a fire sign for you guys. I don't feel like it is though. We got the page of wands. It could definitely still be a fire sign for some of you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but this is good news. It's kind of like, I don't know. Like the more someone tries to get to you, the more you win or the more fortune um, you obtain, the more like things get better for you. What else is this five of swords? Or I feel like this person is very like envious towards you or very, you know, mean towards you because I don't know. It's like they just can't really get to you. Um, we got the Knight of Pentacles here. Hmm. Somebody's trying to stop you from moving forward. Okay. They could be trying to stop you from moving forward to or with a Queen of Wands. 
Um, yeah, ten of all this fire is showing up here. Damn, ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that you've left behind, and the six of swords here. But they're trying to manipulate you. King of Cups could definitely be a water sign. It's something about like. I'm getting like some dark magic and I don't like to bring that up, but I'm getting dark magic or somebody who's just very toxic, very manipulative with this King of Cups. It's like they're doing something and trying to see how you react, like baiting you and trying to see how you react or if it worked or like trying to sabotage you and, and just waiting around, uh, waiting around trying to see what's going on. Somebody else is also keeping tabs. This is a lover. This is an ex-lover. Or, I mean, it might be a current lover for some of you guys, but this feels like an ex-lover. Someone is trying to keep tabs on your love life as well. So somebody is trying to really figure out what you're up to, what's going on. Let's pull some love oracle cards because it looks good for you. But this other energy is the problem. What's going on with Leo? Love Oracle card spirit for the next two weeks. I just saw the home card here. So something about a home is very significant. Change. You could be changing homes. You could be moving. You could be looking for a new uh, space to stay. We have faded meeting. I feel like if that's what it is, whatever you're really wanting, you're going to get it. So if you're looking for a new home, you're getting it. If um, a new car, whatever it is, you're getting it. But it's so much in regards to like where you live or an apartment or a home space here or someone else. So let's see. We got truth popping out here. All right. What else? It's like, I don't know why I'm picking up on Libra energy, especially with this truth and this sword here. Um, what else? Music. Okay. What else, spirit? Music might be very therapeutic for you the next two weeks. We got between the lines and we got date. Yeah, I feel like you need to get out, have some fun, go dancing. And then we have relationship here. So again, you could be a single Leo watching this. If you are, I feel like getting out dating is going to be very therapeutic for you. Um, just mingling with new people. But we also have relationship here. There could be a relationship. Some of you guys want a relationship to come in. If you're already in a relationship, I do see you getting out or the need for you to kind of get out and have fun with your mate to kind of, I don't know, bring you out of whatever this energy is that's trying to pull you down. Okay. And we got legal matters here. So yeah, definitely something about the justice system, something about legalities, a Libra. We got roll the dice, liquid courage. You guys could be drinking, um, trying to like mask. It's almost like you're trying to cover something up. You're trying to make the best out of a situation, but you're also kind of struggling with that okay so let's see what the wisdom oracle card has to say for you we got here and now and we get not for you so if something is not for you if you're questioning it if you're wondering it's not for you all right we got come to the edge and i also feel like with the not for you like this is not you um so this energy if you're feeling down and out like whatever's bothering you whoever's trying to get to you or bring you down into a lower vibration however you're feeling right now possibly or you know in the recent past it's not you it's not for you like that's not your energy so you need to get out you need to mingle you need to date go out with your lover whatever it is um shape this energy because somebody's trying to bring your spirits down they're trying to keep them down very manipulative energy could be a cancer all right so let's see what's going on spirit what cards of wisdom do we have for my leos wrap up this message for the last two weeks of september all right so we got the community card popping out here we got message in the bottle um some of you guys community this could be friend circle this could be family i often get family with this card could be receiving a message from a family member here Something about your kid or your kids, if you have kids watching this and no place like home. It's something about a home. No place like home. Observer. Some of you guys are looking for a home, okay? And then we get a leg up here. So, and higher power. So, I feel like you're getting it. Or if you're worried about the approval of something like that, I feel like you have a leg up. What else? Something about like a kid though, like living with you or something like that. We got new life popped out here. We have poise, okay, very happy energy, uplifting energy. And what is this one that flipped out in reverse? And we got the fates. Something is faded. Fates, poise, and new life. So 
it's a lot of bullshit, Leo. It's definitely a lot of BS with the Janae Iko song that I'm seeing here. But even at the bottom of the deck, we got Treasure Island, all right? And we got Chop Wood. So whatever's going on, whatever type of BS you're dealing with or whatever type of BS in person you're dealing with, I feel like it's coming to some sort of resolution or it's balancing out or it's... It's not going to be with you or at least as heavy at the end of September. So hopefully this helps. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next.